It is possible to use Vision Lib together with the Mixed Reality Toolkit from Microsoft. In this tutorial we will show you, how to set up a Unity project with Vision Lib's model tracking for HoloLens, and how to integrate the Mixed Reality Toolkit. Before start, download the current Vision Lib SDK for Unity from the customer area from visionlib.com. And the Microsoft Mixed Reality Toolkit Foundation Unity package from the Microsoft GitHub. We have put both links in the video description. Now, let's prepare the project. In a new Unity project, import the VisionLib SDK, as well as the VisionLib SDK for HoloLens, through the Package Manager. And add the HoloLens Examples Unity package. Copy your license file to Streaming Assets, VisionLib. For this example, we will use a 3D model of an engine as tracking reference and augmentation. Note, model tracking uses 3D files as reference to localize and track objects in the video stream. So, remember to get 3D models prepared for tracking. In our case working on HoloLens, we need to ensure models have a meter-based metric. That is, they are scaled in a way that a unit of one reflects one meter. In case of our demo, the engine's 3D file was originally scaled in centimeters. So we rescaled it from 320.0 to 0.32. For a detailed explanation, please have a look at the documentation or the tutorial video about metric. The links are in the video description. Make sure to place the tracking reference model in the streaming assets, VisionLib folder. To keep everything organized, we create a folder named Engine Tracking and place the engine there. For the augmentation model, we create a models folder in Assets and place the model here too. Now we have to create a scene. To start with, we recommend using a copy of one of the pre-configured example scenes. The scene already contains all necessary elements for model tracking. Open the HoloLens Simple Model Tracking Example Scene from VisionLib HoloLens Examples, Model Tracking, Scenes. To make a copy click on File, Save As, and save it in the Scenes folder. Now change the tracking model in the configuration file. Select the configuration file in the VL Tracking Game object and open it with a text editor. Change the attribute model URI to the file name of your own model and save this file under a new name, in the same place where the 3D model is lying. Click on the VL Tracking Game object. Reference your tracking configuration and the license file in the tracking configuration component. Drag the augmentation model from the project panel into the hierarchy of your scene, as a child of the game object scene content. If necessary, Adjust the initial pose of the tracking model. The simplest way to do that is, to adjust the scene view. To select the edit camera, and to press game object, align with view. That will transfer the parameters of your scene view to the init camera. Before we are going to focus on the mixed reality toolkit integration, we want to make a few adjustments in the build and player settings. Go to File, Build Settings. Add your scene by clicking the Add Open Scenes button. Switch the platform to Universal Windows. Choose HoloLens as target device. And make sure, the Visual Studio 2017 or higher is selected. Click on Switch Platform. In Player Settings. Publishing Settings. Capabilities. Enable Videos Library. Webcam. And Microphone. As last step make sure that the XR plugin is enabled. Otherwise, the application will start in window mode. Therefore, go back to the project settings, enable the XR plugin management, and Windows Mixed Reality. To use the Mixed Reality Toolkit, import the Unity package, which you have downloaded earlier into the project. Follow the installation instruction, and apply the requested setting changes.
After the installation is complete, click on Mixed Reality Toolkit, which appeared in the menu bar, and press Add to Scene and Configure. This should add a Mixed Reality Toolkit game object to your scene. Select this game object, and select your required configuration profile from the drop-down menu in the inspector. You can also create your own configuration profile. To be able to reset the tracking and to see that the Mixed Reality Toolkit is working, we recommend to add a button. Clicking the button should call Reset Hard on the VL Model Tracker Game Object. We will add a prefab button into the scene. In Assets, MRTK, SDK, Features, UX, Interactable, Prefabs, Drag and drop the pressable button Hollow Lens 2 Prefab into the hierarchy. The button should be positioned in a way that it will easily be visible. For example in the root of the hierarchy, with a Z position between 0.3 and 0.5 meter. In the interactable component of this button, drag and drop the VL model tracker game object into the on-click event. And choose model tracker, reset tracking hard as function. The scene can now be deployed. For that, go to File, Build Settings, Build, and select a folder for the HoloLens deployment. Open the generated Visual Studio solution in that folder. In the Deployment Settings in Visual Studio, change the drop-down settings to Release or Debug. On HoloLens 2, to ARM64. And choose Device or Remote Machine. Note. If you choose Remote Machine, you will be asked to enter the IP address of the HoloLens first. As the last steps, make sure that the HoloLens is turned on and the Developer Mode is activated. Press Remote Machine or Device to deploy and run the application on the HoloLens. If this is the first deployment for HoloLens on your computer, you will be asked to pair the devices. Find the required pin on your HoloLens and enter it into the field. Once the HoloLens application starts, you will be asked for permission to use the MRTKI tracker, the microphone and webcam. This is mandatory for tracking and the use of voice commands. Air tap yes to confirm the dialogues. Now gaze at your model to initialize tracking. To reset the tracking, air tap the MRTK button and initialize the tracking again. That's it. For more information about HoloLens and the Mixed Reality Toolkit integration, please also have a look at our documentation. Links are in the video description. See you in the next tutorial.